Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a little bit of blue and black and white. And right up here, let's just begin to drop in a nice little sky. Maybe in our painting today, there's a lot of clouds. So we really don't need a lot of this blue here. Just a little bit. Set the paint down and then pick up another brush and work it in. Really spread it around and make it soft. Now with the filbert brush, we can just begin to scrub in some nice little clouds up here. In fact, maybe today in our sky there's a lot of clouds. So we'll just sort of rub them in like this. And let it come around and vary the colors. You can throw in some black, make the shadow a little darker out here. All you're looking for is really just a, a nice light gray color. A little gray, maybe a little bit of red in it. Now with the filbert brush and some yellow and white. Let's just begin shaping these clouds with these nice little highlights here. Just throw on a little bit of color and move on to the next area. Keep it loose and free. A lot of layers in these clouds today. See? Now because there's a lot of gray around here, we don't have to worry too much about the, the yellow and the blue mixing to get green. So we can paint pretty, pretty free and loose. Once you have the clouds in, take a, a clean brush and blend it right into the base color. See that? It goes so soft. Now with the filbert brush, we'll drop in a nice little mountain up here. Now maybe in our painting today, the mountain kind of comes off like that. It's more of a more of a little cliff back here. Kind of comes off somewhere in through there and fill it in. Notice how it's it's not too dark. We really don't want it too dark here. Now, as you can see, I have a nice little sketch up here. I just took the filbert brush and made a little outline where I thought I might want our little mountain. Now we'll just brush it in with some nice dark brown, brown and black. This is just the, the base color. We're going to come back and add some nice highlights on top and details. Maybe there'll be a little bit of snow back in there. With the knife and a little bit of brown, white, and yellow. We can just drop in some nice highlights on this mountain. Now maybe today this mountain has a lot of detail in it. So we'll just, we'll use the knife and drop in all these cracks and rocks, little bumps. Nice detailed areas. Don't load too much paint on the knife at first. Use small amounts and then move it around on the canvas. See that? There's no reason to glop it on. Just little bits at a time. It'll keep, keep your painting going a little more smoothly. There's some red, follow it up with brown, and then work them together. Wipe the knife off, there's too much paint down. Look, you can lift it and move it. Now with our filbert brush and some white and blue. Let's just begin cleaning up this mountain here. Now we'll just, we'll just set the brush down and kind of scrub like this. It's really not too hard. And I'm just creating these little snow ridges in here. See that? It cleans up the bottom and helps to shape your mountain. Maybe there's some back in through here. It's okay if a little bit of the mountain gets picked up and moved, a little bit of the color, because it ends up looking like little shadows in the snow. Now with our filbert brush and some white, we can just brush on a little highlight here to the snow. Now we really don't need a lot, only in the areas where you think sunlight would catch. Most of this in here is in shadow. Now with our fan brush, we can just tap in a few nice little trees back here. Maybe a distant tree line like this. And it kind of comes across and down. The more you tap it, the softer it'll become. So you have to kind of decide how soft you want it and then try to match. Now what you can do is also lift upward and you get tiny, tiny little trees way back there. They're so tiny you almost can't see them until you get right up against the painting, but that's all right. They give us a nice little layer of detail. Now, while we have the fan brush going, we can just block in 
a little bit of this area with grass here. Maybe there's kind of a rolling hill that slopes down. Let's do some water right here. You can see I already kind of mapped out a spot. So we'll leave that area open. We'll just have this grass run right down. Now with the filbert brush, we can just make another mountain. I kind of looked at this painting and I, I saw a nice mountain right up here. So I think we'll just do it. Just throw it right in. If you didn't want to paint in another mountain, you could just do a big tree here. And the painting would probably look just as good. But sometimes I just enjoy doing these paintings that, oh, they have so many different things going on. When you look at them, it's, you just, you have to look for quite a while to see all the nice things. We can go ahead and highlight this mountain the same way as we did the other one. Just drop on some nice color here with the knife and allow it to have a lot of that texture in there. We need that texture in order for it to look detailed and nice. And take some black if you want to and watch this. Oh yeah, really make it, make it stand out with all these nice shadows and highlights. Now with the fan brush and some black, blue, and green, load it evenly on both sides. We can go ahead and maybe, let's just start right there. Start right here, touch down, give ourselves a line, and then work upward. Push up and create, oh, all these nice little limbs beautiful little limbs that kind of stick out. Oh yeah. Now if you have trouble going over this texture, and there is a little bit, it's not too bad right this, in this little spot here, but should you have some trouble, what you can do is just add more paint to the brush, then it should come off. There. And tap it way down there. Maybe we need one more. Right there. <laughs> you kind of just pick out where you want them and throw them in. Oh, these evergreens are really quite a lot of fun. Now with a very bright mix of yellow, green, and white on the fan brush, let's just tap in some grass way back here. Now maybe in our painting today, the sunlight is kind of filtering through some of these clouds and I don't know, for some reason, this little area in here just, oh, it gets a little extra sunlight and that's nice. Then as it gets away from that spot we just created, it gets darker. So add some more green, maybe add some black. Now with a nice light gray on the filbert brush, we can just drop in a nice little, nice little river back here. Maybe it goes back in the distance and then comes forward. Oh yeah, I like that. That's gonna be nice. We'll put some highlight on it and really make it stand out. Now with the fan brush, we can just begin to add on a little bit of highlight in here. We don't need a, a whole lot, just enough. Kind of, kind of gives the uh, appearance of a little movement to the water here. Now with the filbert brush, we can just block in a couple of nice little rocks up here. We only need a few, just here and there. Maybe, maybe one right up and through here. Now with the one inch brush, we can finish off this painting by just throwing in a few little blades of grass down here. I'm using the brush vertically, pushing the rocks way back, kind of seeding them down into the painting. There, not too bright. Keep them pretty dark down here. Don't want to attract your attention to this area. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brushes. And thanks for watching.